Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered if we are alone in this vast universe? This is a question that has intrigued mankind for centuries. As we stand on our tiny planet, spinning in the ever-expanding cosmos, it's easy to feel small and insignificant. But what if I told you that our world is just one of billions, if not trillions of planets scattered across the universe? That's right, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is home to countless stars, and orbiting these stars are planets, much like our own. These planets, known as exoplanets, are worlds beyond our solar system. They open up a realm of possibilities, painting a picture of a universe teeming with potential for life. Now, you might be wondering how do we even know these exoplanets exist? After all, they are light years away from us. The answer lies in the ingenuity and persistence of astronomers who have developed methods to detect these distant worlds. They use sophisticated telescopes and apply principles of physics to witness the unimaginable. Exoplanets are a testament to the universe's grandeur and diversity. They range from gas giants larger than Jupiter to rocky worlds smaller than Earth. Some orbit their stars in the habitable zone, the region where conditions might be just right for liquid water and possibly life as we know it. The discovery of exoplanets has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It has given us a new perspective, a new lens through which to view our place in the cosmos. We are no longer the center of the universe, but rather a tiny part of a much larger, more intricate cosmic tapestry. The study of exoplanets is not just about understanding the universe, it's about understanding our place in it. It's about asking the big questions and daring to seek the answers. It's about the curiosity that drives us to explore, to learn and to grow. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of exoplanets, shall we? To begin with, what exactly are these so-called exoplanets? Exoplanets, short for extrasolar planets, are celestial bodies just like the planets we're familiar with in our own solar system. The key difference, however, is their location. Exoplanets orbit stars outside of our solar system. That's right, they're interstellar travelers, trekking around distant stars. For many centuries, humans have gazed at the stars and wondered if we are alone in the universe. The discovery of exoplanets has given a new perspective to this age-old question. The notion that there could be other worlds like our own, orbiting distant stars, has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. There are several types of exoplanets, each unique and fascinating in their own way. First up, we have terrestrial or rocky exoplanets, which are similar to Earth and Mars. These planets are generally smaller and made up of rock or metal. Next, we have gas giants, akin to our own Jupiter and Saturn. These are usually larger planets, made up mostly of gases, such as hydrogen and helium, with a relatively small rocky core. Then there are ice giants, like Neptune and Uranus, in our solar system. These have a solid core, but it's surrounded by a thick layer of substances, like water, ammonia or methane, in a slushy state. Lastly, we have a category of exoplanets that we don't have in our own solar system, hot Jupiters. These are gas giants that orbit very close to their star, resulting in extremely high temperatures. Exoplanets are more than just distant planets. They are potential homes for life as we know it, or maybe life as we don't know it yet. They open up a universe of possibilities and remind us that our Earth is just one small piece in the grand cosmic puzzle. Now that we have a basic understanding of what exoplanets are, let's see how we find them. Finding a planet outside our solar system seems like finding a needle in a haystack, doesn't it? But let's not forget, we're talking about astronomers here, masters of the cosmic wilderness. They've got some tricks up their sleeves that would make even a magician envious. First off, we have the transit method. Imagine you're watching a distant star, and suddenly it dims slightly before regaining its original brightness. This is not a star having a light bulb moment, but a planet passing in front of it, causing a slight drop in observed brightness. By observing these tiny dips over time, astronomers can infer the presence of a planet. It's like seeing a bird fly across the sun, but on an astronomical scale. Next, we have the radial velocity method. Now, this one's a bit more complex. You see, 
When a planet orbits a star, it doesn't just go around like a merry-go-round. Instead, it tugs on the star, causing it to move in a tiny circular or elliptical motion in response. This to and fro motion can be detected by observing the star's light spectrum. As the star moves towards us, its light gets slightly bluer, and when it moves away, it gets slightly redder. This is known as the Doppler effect. By measuring these subtle changes in color, astronomers can deduce the presence and properties of the planet causing the star's dance. Now, these methods might seem like they're straight out of a science fiction novel, but they've been incredibly successful in finding exoplanets, from gas giants larger than Jupiter to rocky worlds just like our Earth, these techniques have unveiled a universe teeming with a variety of planets. It's like we've been given a cosmic treasure map, and all we have to do is follow the clues. And with each new discovery, we get one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Armed with these tools, astronomers have made some incredible discoveries. And who knows what secrets they'll unearth next. The universe is a vast, unexplored frontier, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface. You might be surprised to know just how many exoplanets we've discovered. It's a number that seems to grow almost daily, with thousands upon thousands of alien worlds catalogued in our cosmic neighborhood. As of today, astronomers have confirmed the existence of over 4,000 exoplanets. That's more than the grains of sand on the smallest beach you can imagine. But it's not just the sheer number of exoplanets that is awe-inspiring, it's the breathtaking diversity. The universe, it seems, has a flair for the dramatic and the unexpected. The types of exoplanets we've discovered range from rocky Earth-like planets to gas giants, each with their unique characteristics and quirks. Let's take a moment to marvel at some of the most notable discoveries. First up, we have Kepler. 186f. This exoplanet, discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, is the first Earth-sized planet found in the habitable zone of its star, which is the region where conditions might be just right for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Then there's the intriguingly named PSRB, 1626b, also known as Methuselah. This ancient exoplanet is believed to be nearly three times the age of Earth, making it one of the oldest known planets in the universe. Imagine the secrets it holds, and who could forget WASP-12b? This gas giant is so close to its star that it's being ripped apart and turned into a kind of cosmic egg. It's a stark reminder of the violent and chaotic processes that shape the universe. But these are just a few examples from the vast catalog of exoplanets. From scorching hot Jupiters to icy super-Earths, the variety is astounding. We've found worlds where it rains glass, sideways, due to the extreme winds. We've found planets that are pitch black, absorbing almost all light that hits them. And we've even found a planet that orbits not one but two stars, just like Tatooine from Star Wars. Every one of these alien worlds presents an opportunity to learn more about the universe and our place in it. They challenge our assumptions and force us to think differently about what a planet can be. And in doing so, they expand our understanding of the potential for life beyond Earth. Indeed, the search for exoplanets is more than just a scientific endeavor. It's a quest for understanding, a journey of discovery, and a testament to our insatiable curiosity. Each new discovery not only adds to our cosmic catalog, but also brings us closer to answering one of the most profound questions we can ask. These discoveries bring us one step closer to answering the question, are we alone? The question on everyone's mind is, can any of these exoplanets support life? We've been exploring the cosmos for centuries, yet the question of extraterrestrial life remains one of the most tantalizing mysteries. To answer this question, we first need to understand the conditions necessary for life as we know it. Life as we understand it requires a few essential ingredients. First and foremost, it needs liquid water. Without it, the complex chemical reactions that form the basis of life as we know it simply can't take place. This is why scientists often refer to the search for life as the search for water. 
Secondly, life requires a source of energy. On Earth, most life forms rely on the sun's energy, either directly through photosynthesis or indirectly through the food chain. But there are also organisms here on Earth that rely on chemical energy, found in the dark depths of our oceans. These life forms are known as extremophiles, and they've opened up the possibility that life might exist in environments once thought inhospitable. Now, let's turn our gaze back to the stars. How do astronomers identify potentially habitable exoplanets? The answer lies in the concept of the habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone. This is the area around a star where conditions might just be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. Too close to the star, and any water would evaporate. Too far away, and it would freeze. But in the Goldilocks zone, it could remain liquid and potentially support life. Astronomers identify potentially habitable exoplanets by examining the light from their host stars. When a planet passes in front of its star, it causes a slight dip in the star's light. By analyzing this dip, scientists can determine the planet's size, distance from the star, and even some aspects of its atmosphere. If an exoplanet is in the Goldilocks zone and it's roughly the right size, it becomes a candidate for further study. But it's important to remember, just because a planet is in the habitable zone, it doesn't necessarily mean it's habitable. There are many other factors at play, from the planet's atmosphere to its geological activity. And even if all the conditions are right, life is not a guarantee. It's a complex puzzle and we're still finding the pieces. While we haven't found life yet, the search is far from over. We've only just begun to explore the vast cosmic ocean, and each new discovery brings us one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The search for life on exoplanets is one of the most exciting frontiers in astronomy today, a quest that promises to redefine our understanding of life and our place in the cosmos. So, what does the future hold for exoplanet exploration? As we peer into the cosmic horizon, several upcoming missions and technologies beckon with the promise of revolutionizing our understanding of exoplanets. It's an exciting time to be an exoplanet enthusiast as we stand on the cusp of breakthroughs that could catapult us into a new era of discovery. One such exciting frontier is the prospect of direct imaging. Until now, we've largely relied on indirect methods to detect exoplanets. We've watched for the slight dimming of a star as a planet crosses its face, or the tiny wobble of a star pulled by the gravity of an orbiting planet. But with advancements in telescope technology, we're inching closer to being able to directly image these distant worlds. The giant Magellan Telescope scheduled for completion in the late 20s, and the European Extremely Large Telescope, set to see first light in the early 30s, will be the largest optical telescopes ever built. These behemoths will have the capability to capture direct images of larger exoplanets, providing us with unprecedented detail and clarity. But it's not just about taking pretty pictures. Direct imaging will enable us to analyze the light reflected off an exoplanet's surface or atmosphere, opening up the tantalizing possibility of detecting biosignatures or signs of life. These biosignatures could be anything from oxygen or methane in the atmosphere to vegetation on the surface or even artificial lights. If we can identify these signs, it could be a game changer, offering us the first concrete evidence of life beyond our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope, already in space, is set to play a crucial role in this search. Its powerful instruments will be able to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets in unprecedented detail, looking for those telltale signs of life. The future of exoplanet exploration is bright, filled with promising technologies and missions that will push the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. We're on the threshold of a new era in exoplanet research, an era that may finally answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Who knows what incredible discoveries await us in the future? As we gaze up at the night sky, 
we are not just looking at stars, but potentially at other worlds teeming with life. These words not only encapsulate our journey through this video, but also the spirit of our cosmic curiosity. Our exploration has taken us from the concept of exoplanets, those celestial bodies orbiting stars beyond our sun, to the intricate methods we've developed to identify and study them. We've delved into the invisible, exploring the ingenious ways in which scientists have been able to discover exoplanets. The transit method, where a planet causes a slight dip in its star's brightness as it passes in front of it, and the radial velocity method, where the gravitational tug of a planet causes its star to wobble, have both been instrumental in our hunt for these distant worlds. Our journey then took us through a fascinating catalogue of exoplanets, from those rocky and Earth-like to the gas giants larger than Jupiter. Each exoplanet carries a unique story, a tantalizing clue to the mysteries of the cosmos. We've seen how this catalogue has grown and continues to grow, with every passing year, every new discovery. And then, the question that has captivated humanity for centuries. Is there life out there? We've explored the ongoing search for life beyond Earth, the thrilling prospect of finding biosignatures in the atmospheres of exoplanets, the hope that maybe we are not alone. Finally, we look to the future, to the endless possibilities that exoplanet exploration holds, new technologies, new missions, new discoveries, all propelling us forward in our quest to understand our place in the universe. So, as we conclude our journey, Let's remember that our exploration of exoplanets is not just about finding new worlds. It's about understanding our own world, our own existence, in a broader cosmic context. Next time you look up at the stars, remember, we are just one tiny part of a vast, incredible universe full of possibilities.